Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, September 22nd. Tesla says that it has updated its autopilot software to slow down the vehicles when it detects the lights of an emergency vehicle at nighttime. In an update to the Model 3 and Model Y owner's manual coming with the 2021.24.12 software update, they added, quote, If Model 3 Y detects lights from an emergency vehicle when using auto steer at night on high-speed road, the driving speed is automatically reduced and the touchscreen displays a message informing you of the slowdown. This is actually quite a welcome improvement, not just for the safety of the drivers, but also for Tesla's reputation. Tesla is currently under investigation from the NHTSA over crashes that occurred when drivers using autopilot collided with emergency vehicles. Redwood Materials, a battery recycling and material supply company founded by Tesla co-founder J.B. Straubel, announced that they are partnering with Ford Motor Company. Along with the partnership, Ford also invested $50 million in Redwood, only a portion of the total capital raise of $700 million. Like many other automakers, Ford is going to need a lot of batteries in the coming years to support the electrification of their lineup. The automaker plans to launch a battery electric version of the F-150 pickup truck, its best-selling vehicle, and the Lincoln electric SUV within the next year. Both of those large vehicles are going to need a large amount of batteries. Jim Farley, president and CEO of Ford, commented on the announcement saying, quote, Our partnership with Redwood Materials will be critical to our plan to build electric vehicles at scale in America, at the lowest possible cost with zero-waste approach. Some environmentalists are starting to call for a boycott of Toyota as the automaker keeps using its money and influence to slow down electric vehicle progress. Paul Scott, a founder of the EV advocacy group Plug in America, is leading the boycott effort. He staged a protest at the Toyota of Santa Monica location. And with some embellishments on the vocal delivery, he said the following words, quote, The climate clock is ticking and we have to start hitting polluters where it counts. In the money. I worked at an EV dealership, although it wasn't Toyota, and I can tell you that this is our best chance for change, alongside federal legislation. Car salespeople loathe losing a single sale and hate bad publicity. Toyota deserves every bit of it because they are keeping us addicted to gasoline. Now, this kind of action may have stirred the pot, as several groups, including the Sierra Club and Mom's Clean Air Force, wrote a letter to Toyota expressing their concerns, saying, quote, Unfortunately, Toyota's efforts to lobby Congress to steer away from this vision and pressure members of Congress to reduce funding and oppose tax credits for Americans' access to zero-emission EVs are putting our nation and the world's transportation and climate future at risk. Volta Trucks and Cybros have partnered up to integrate Cybros's holistic data platform into the upcoming 16-ton Volta Zero Electric truck. By utilizing Cybros's proprietary system complete with over-the-air capabilities, Volta Trucks plans to optimize its fleet assets health, reduce EV downtime, and lower overall service costs. As a partnership, Cybros will be integrating and deploying all of its core products. The over the air software updates, over the air deep logging, and command manager, providing Volta trucks with real time vehicle and fleet data management capabilities. Rubber will hit the road soon enough when Volta trucks will use its latest funding round to accelerate the development of its pilot fleet, and customers will see them in London and Paris in mid 2022. Volvo Construction Equipment publicly showcased the capabilities and quietness of its battery electric ECR25 electric compact excavator. According to Volvo, the pilot project was an informative success and its all-electric solutions meet the high performance standards of construction customers in a variety of applications, as proven through the testing scenarios. Looking ahead, Volvo has emphasized a focus on enhancing machine run times, optimizing onboard charging systems, and exploring alternative charging methods for job sites without readily available charging access. Even in this early phase, pre-orders are open and deliveries are expected sometime in 2022. Addison Lee, the UK's largest private vehicle hire firm, announced its entire fleet of 4,000 vehicles will become fully electric by 2023. The company says that it will spend 160 million British pounds to switch to EVs two years ahead of all other private hire vehicle operators, including Uber. Addison Lee is partnering with Volkswagen to purchase ID4s. It'll be the largest purchase of its kind in the UK. It's actually about 300 new EVs on the road every month. 
This will result in 20,000 zero emission journeys in London each day. And in Electrex Green Energy Brief, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and Governor Kathy Hochul this week announced two major clean energy infrastructure projects to power New York City with wind, solar, and hydropower. Companies Clean Path New York and Hydro Quebec will, according to the mayor's office, quote, produce approximately 18 million megawatt hours of upstate and Canadian renewable energy per year, enough to power more than 2.5 million homes, reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 77 million metric tons over the next 15 years, which is the equivalent of taking 1 million cars off the road, and provide 2.9 billion in public health benefits over 15 years that'll result from reduced exposure to harmful pollutants, including fewer episodes of illness and premature death, fewer days of school or work missed, less disruption of businesses, and lower healthcare costs. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.